Hi everybody, uh, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my last video, I sh showed you this piece over here, which I mentioned that I uh, am going to show you how I made them. Um, I think you would have seen a lot of videos where we play with labels and we spruce them up a bit and stuff like that. So the only difference with mine and um, from what I have uh, been looking around and checking on is that it is cheaper in South Africa for me to get labels on a roll rather than labels in a like on an A4 sheet or a letter size sheet or whatever. It works out to be quite expensive in that way. So um, this way works out cheaper for me. Even if I use my uh, silhouette to cut out labels using the A4 sheet or whatever, uh, I, think, I think if I have to do the math, it works out a little bit more expensive. And um, I kind of uh, use this. Not that I don't, won't use it, you know, the sticker sheets, but um, I was giving this a shot. Now, the only problem with this, when you give this a shot over here, is that you can see it starts moving around. So it's difficult to be able to uh, put them together and stamp, you know, randomly on it. So I figured a way to do that. Um, and I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you my quick method of uh, doing labels. So once this is done, you can spruce it up even more, like you can put um, uh, blotches of paint on it or drops of paint, you know, splatter, and you can fancy it up as much as you want. And the reason why I haven't done that uh, is because if I look at these labels over here, they kind of, I wanted some for my bustling bee journal and then the others, I wanted them to be uh, generic so I can use them anywhere else. So that is the reason why I didn't do that. But what I will consider doing is that those ones that I want for my bustling bee kit that is going to work for that. I think I want to splatter some yellow and some uh, black uh, paint on them. So I'll see how that goes. And I'll try this time around to keep those in one you know one section so i can actually do that all right so enough talking and let's get going okay so what i have over here okay so what i have over here is that i have an old uh study guide or whatever it is and I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz labels. I've got the ones that I'm missing. I've got them um, taken out on this side over here. I'm going to be using archival ink uh, in ground espresso. Because I found the black was a little bit overpowering. Uh, but it depends on what uh, look you're going for. And I'm going to be using some of my coffee. Which I have in here. Okay, and how I keep my coffee is I add a bit of alcohol to it, a tiny bit of alcohol, and then it doesn't go rancid. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for ways of keeping coffee that you don't always have to, um, you know, make a fresh batch and you want it readily available in your craft room, that's my tip on that one there. And then these are the labels that I'm going to be using. They are tower labels. Uh, yeah, this is what I have available to me over here. And uh, I'm going to be using various sizes. Ooh, this is pink. Mm. No, this is pink. I don't need pink. But yes, so what I'm going to do is instead of you watching me boringly take these labels out and use them, I'm going to sort out these labels, cut a few, and then I'm going to get back to you in how I managed to keep them all together. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so 
what I did was I took the labels out and I um I stuck them onto this sheet of paper. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So just stuck them like this onto the sheet of paper so that they don't move around when I am stamping on them. And in that way, I can get a more random uh, stamp, stamped images, okay? Because I don't want it to be perfect. So that's my <laughs> hack or my trick to you so that I can, they don't move around on me and I can then uh, stamp like that. And then what I will do is that once they are done, I will then take the um, uh, the scissor or whatever it is, and then I will just cut these strips out so that they look like this. I'm going to show you now. Um, they look like this. So underneath, sorry, is the uh, page, but then you just peel off your strip from here and you use it. So next, I'm um, going to take some coffee spray and I'm going to spray it and the more big blobs I get, the better. Now, ideally, you would want this to uh, dry naturally, okay, but, but I can tell you um, that uh, even if you don't allow it to dry naturally and you're very gentle with your heat gun, it's going to work as well. You can use your heat gun. So, I'm just going to take a piece of paper, or paper towel, and I'm going to blot it out. And the only reason I'm blotting it is because I'm removing um, some of the excess um, coffee just so that the drying process can uh, speed up uh, simply because I'm doing a video but how cool would it be if you didn't do that it would be even more cooler I would think okay so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to dry this and I'll be back with you all right so they are almost dry and now what I'm going to do is I am going to add some uh, vintage filter in um, my distress oxide to it and how I'm going to do that is I am going to take this I'm going to place it on the stamp pink platform and I am going to use I was going to use some tea there. And I'm going to stamp it off here because otherwise it will be quite hectic. And I am just going to do that. Oh, I use coffee. Instead of water, I use coffee. Oh, uh, well, 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 well. Let's just wipe that off now because it's got coffee on it. Let's do that once more. Yeah, so I hope all of you are well in South Africa. Yes, it's, it's getting cold. Yes, that one's got a lot. So this is not a very controlled technique as you can see that uh, but I want it to be really really random and that is why I'm comfortable using this technique I'm just gonna do it once more and try to get the others in here yeah so yeah in South Africa at the moment it's getting really cold but I don't 
I don't think that this is going to be it will last I mean it could just be um, I forgot to close my stamp pad um, it's probably you know just like a, a cold spurt but it's been raining and I've heard that even in other parts of the world the weather is a bit crazy at the moment and um, yeah oh yeah this is looking good now it may not be everybody's cup of tea right and that's fine too because that's the whole idea a junk journal is about your personal style and art so i am going to then probably for the sake of the video again just do that and then get it to dry again i love the splatters on it and I'm going to get back to you once I dry this. All right. Okay, so I am back. And what I wanted to show you, I just want to uh, bring this label back down. I'll stick it back down here. So it is lifting up with the heat, but it's still fine or good enough to be able to work with right so let's just get that label done okay so what i wanted to show you is look at these here these splotches over here the these ones here don't they look like sunflowers gosh they look beautiful i mean that that's one way of creating sunflowers in your in your junk journals i'm gonna try it out i don't know whether uh, i've got such a dramatic effect because i used uh, at one stage remember instead of using water i used uh, coffee and i spritzed it with coffee the di um, the oxide with coffee i'm not sure I, I have to try to replicate that but they are definitely quite pronounced compared to you know the ones in here I don't know maybe they're just bigger spl uh, splotches i don't know but i think they're pretty cool anyway let's move on so i'm going to use some background stamps um i don't know if i told you i was a teacher at one point and uh so i used to use this for mats and uh these stamps to stamp in my kids books and do math sums so that's what I've, I've got some of these things here. Now, I don't want a, yeah, I don't want a, uh, thing effect. I just want a very random effect on it. So I'm going to try this one as well. And I'm inking it up very lightly really lightly just to add some background to it so what I want to say is that this technique really lends itself to you using a lot of your stamps and uh, I love it I love the fact that we can use our our stamps in that way oh is this clean now yes it is yeah so bring out your stamps and let's do some stamping even here as well i am not going to um you know that's i got this to stamp it off it's mainly for background effect nothing else yes yeah, so i do hope you're having a great week it is the start of the week here and just trying to um, catch up with some videos and in doing my uh, junk journal series because I know quite a few people have what the the bustling bees kit so 
although I'm making y'all, uh, um, you know, some of them are going to be random. The main idea was to make them for my uh, rustling beads kit. So, uh, so you must be wondering why I'm not stamping off. Uh, the reason why I'm not stamping off is that I'm stamping very lightly on my pad anyway. Oh, those are looking so gorgeous, just like that. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now we are going to come in with the more, um, going to come in with those stamps that uh, a bit more, um, you know, where we're really going to do the stamping, if I could call it that. So I took the butterfly one and I use did I yes did I did I yes there's the butterfly one so the butterfly ones are going to go do I have one that I don't have over here no that's it yes no it's right right I'm just trying to replicate it just to show it to you yeah How cool. And then let's take out the butterfly one. Why am I using such a big stamp pad? I don't like using big ones if I don't have to. But I have no idea now where I put my little one. It's just easier for my hands to use a little one. Uh, matter i'm sure i'm sure i know where it is Just... yes so there it is it was just on my other table and let's try and add this and the reason why i like using a, sh a smaller one is that i have a little bit more control of where it's going I can see it a bit better. I don't know if that makes sense. So, did you see how it's going, getting onto the other stamp there? And that's the whole idea. Okay, there we go. So, that's looking cool. Pretty cool there. And now let's take something else and start stamping with it. Uh, let's take this number. Let's take this number. Okay. And let's stamp here and let's see what we get. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so I have a video. Uh, I could have mentioned it before. Uh, we I show you how I'm setting up my supplies and what I will be using for my uh, junk journal. Um for my bees junk journal okay so um maybe you would like to go and check that video just to see what supplies i use i'm not saying you know use the same supplies uh, because that's kind of impossible everyone has different supplies uh you might have some common ones like maybe these stamps and you know things like that but in general everyone will have different supplies especially in terms of your ribbons and your laces and stuff like that so i just want to show you what i have in my stash and i use it um that's basically it and um how you too can look at what you have in your stash and then just use it um uh, and do some stamping i mean sorry no what am i talking about how you can use what you have in your stamp, uh, I mean stash, to be able to uh, decorate your journal. Okay. Now I'm not too concerned if my images don't come out too clear. Really, I'm not. Uh, it's okay with me. I find the more random, well, in my case, okay, I feel that the more random everything is, uh, it's cool. It's cute. <laughs> it's very cute. 
so this is going to definitely be now you know my bees in my bees uh and it's fine I, I got only two out of it but I, it's okay it's fine you can work with two let's try uh this one here although it's bigger let's try and see what we get out of it so <laughs> Look at me. Oh no, it doesn't really matter. It's a circle. Really? Cool. I like it. So we're not getting the 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 outline, but it's looking cool. I have to remind myself I don't have to be in the center because I just move it around. Yeah, and then just stamp this out over here so yes yeah, so that's basically what we are doing over there we are just continuing to uh, stamp it in different places and then what I thought I wanted to do which I never tried on the other ones is that I'm going to start outlining them so if you want you can up to just go and get my pen uh, I gave my pens to my son and to say the least I'm not going to get any back so I'm just going to have to use what I have over here so I thought like a very thin outline a messy outline on them uh oh talk about messy I can't even draw you know if you can draw better than me or you can do like your faux stitches on there and the reason why I, I'm saying you can do like stitches I don't have the right pen I should be using another pen but that pen is downstairs in my other pencil case and I'm not about to disrupt this again just to go and get that pen but can you see now it doesn't look like much but if you have to take this now and you have to put it on I've done one here there's it here if you have to put that on there now okay can you see now it looks a little bit different if you add your faux stitching or something on it it just gives that um, this label a little bit more dimension uh, although it's like flat to the eye, it gives it a bit more dimension on it. Can you see that? Then the other thing I thought about is, what about these charcoal pencils? What about adding them to the ends? You know, like that. And then just, um, uh, just kind of smudging them a bit. You know, just to give that a little bit more dimension when you are uh, doing this kind of work. Okay. Now, I think I might have some other uh, archival inks. Oh, I think I like that. I think I like that. I'm going to show it to you now. I, I, I think... I think this is going to work ladies and gents now i know many of you have i think it's a tim holes if i'm not mistaken you know these ones here this year the bigger ones of this and i'm sure you have it uh or some people might have it but um i don't have it i don't have it and i'm gonna see where i can get it because i can see i can think of many uses for it but I mean this would be a good alternative right if you don't have that and you want to add some dimension yeah I think so I think you I think you can get there so let me show it to you I think I love it in fact I absolutely love it and I probably will do that for the rest can you see that one there how much more dimension it has added compared to these ones here just by using that charcoal pencil isn't it gorgeous 
Okay, so you can go ahead and you can stamp the rest. But what I wanted to show you is that I'm going to take these out here. Okay, because I've done stamping on them. So all I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull the page out like that. I'm going to take my pair of scissors and I am going to then, well, even if you don't use your scissors, you can use your... I'm very sorry if I am stretching. My table is not big over here, so I keep things all over. So, take your ruler. And then, I'm going to cut off till here, right? Simply because I've done up until there. And those ones, I still want them to remain there to be stuck. Uh, so, I think it's still here. There you go. And then all you do is you just take your ruler and you cut it down to size here, like that and like that. And just neaten it up if you're a little OCD. Um, there's nothing wrong in being OCD. I think all of us want something that we can control, right? In well, it's in some people's nature to be able to control certain things. It is in my nature. I know that much. Yeah. So there you go. Now you have these stamps, which you can then pull out from here. And you can use wherever you want to on your work and stuff like that. So if you are following along with the, um, with the series for our... Um, our junk uh, our bustling bees uh journal that we are going to be doing okay this is one of the things that uh i am uh, going to be uh that i that i made that's going to i'm going to use it uh, to decorate ephemera on our kit all right so i think i think the charcoal pencil in my case is a little bit more is going to be a little bit more successful than me doing those lines over there because clearly i don't have a steady enough hand to be able to do that <laughs> uh, yeah so there we go let's see what i did over there uh, and that B1, I changed it up a bit. I think I'm liking it. I think I do. I think I do. I really like this one here. Okay, so these here, oh, oh, we'll, we'll call it maybe a fail. Or if we can, we can spruce it up a bit over there. But definitely, I'm really, I'm really liking that one there. And I'm definitely going to do it for the rest of them. So... That's what we did over there, and uh, I think we can also add it over here. Let's try and add it here. Let's see what we get if we add it here. Yes. Uh, oh, Santony, Santony, you're coloring, coloring outside of this even. So, looks pretty cute. Looks pretty, pretty cute. Right, so... Yeah, because it's so much more dimension. Excuse me. Now that it's getting colder, I start sniffling much more. And it's not, not very nice, but it, it, yeah. Um, I, I, so please excuse me. Because it's something that just happens. Yeah, look at that, guys, ladies. Sure. Really changed that up quite a bit. Look at that. Okay. So, yes, if you're not into such a grunge look, then don't do it. But remember, I mentioned that I'm going to really grunge up my, uh, my journal. So, I probably might add some black on this as well. Fantastic. I think I like that. Okay, so what did we have over here? Uh, I did some labels for you. I didn't complete them. 
I didn't complete all of them stamping in them, but that's okay because uh, you don't need to see me stamping, right? And then I, um, this is a, one of the tags I made. Uh, it's not a tag, it's a pocket. It's a pocket here. And then you can see how I incorporated that labels into the tag over there. Um, I showed you how to distress it a bit. I created some sunflowers I love and I um, showed you that you can if you have a charcoal pen a soul you can use that to uh, you know grunge it up a bit give it more dimension or you can use your false stitching or if you have a steady hand then you can you can do those little wiggly uh, you know multiple untidy circles or whatever the case may be Right, so that's uh, uh, from me. You'll be seeing me using these in my junk journal uh, kit, the Bustling Bees one. Not kit, man, journal. Why do I say kit? And you'll be seeing me using more of these over here. So that's the reason why I created them in the first place. And then the other thing I wanted to say is that I want to do some way. The label is going to be black and then we're going to work on that a little bit uh, just experimenting uh, so we can use that as well but nevertheless uh, for now that's it from me and if you like this kind of content uh, then please do give it a thumbs up and uh, cons you know consider subscribing to my youtube channel look at there uh, my youtube channel if you haven't already subscribed and do do comment below and uh, if you found success in any other techniques that you use for uh, stamping uh, and um, for creating your own labels, then do so. Uh, do put it down there in the comments. Uh, you can join me on my Facebook group, which is Sunny Creates Drunk Journals, to follow the journey over there as well. Take care, everybody, and have a blessed uh, week further. And ta-ta. Bye-bye.